leaders. Well, speaking of African leaders, uh, many, in fact, uh, 20 of them are currently being hosted in Rome by uh, Giorgia Meloni as uh, she tries uh, to reposition Italy with the African continent. Uh, it's not so clear, though, what is being discussed um, in uh, the meetings. Uh, so for more on that, we're going to turn to Prochopio Maddalena in uh, Rome, Prochopio, a senior, senior fellow at the SFR uh, for Africa. Uh, Thank you so much for joining us, uh, The Georgia Meloni is, is obviously not so well equipped as other European uh, leaders, and especially with the way uh, things are going for her government. Uh, it is a very important meeting, though, to try and get Africa back on side. What, what do you think uh, is going to be the, top, hot, the hot topic uh, of negotiation in uh, this uh, weekend of talks? Hello. Hi. Thanks for hosting me. Uh, yeah, the content of the strategy has not been revealed in detail. So we have we know that there will be a list of priority projects that will be discussed and probably agreed at least in principle. Um, definitely, the sex, some sectors that will be um, hot during the discussions will be energy, agriculture, with infrastructure development um, as a backbone to connect the continents, and some other sectors like digital health and education. Uh, but energy will be extremely important, both for, for gas and for renewable energy, like hydrogen, solar, and, and so forth. The, the government, uh, the Italian government, sees a link between increasing um, access to electricity in Africa, which is globally uh, the lowest, and development, which helps to um, ideally um, curb migration. So energy will be extremely important, uh, both to respond to Italian um, energy security and African energy needs. Um, agriculture is also a sector uh, that will be discussed, most likely, um, a sector where Italian companies are very strong and lots of African countries see agriculture as a main opportunity to industrialize through agribusiness and, and job creation. So these will be uh, likely very hot um, sectors. And in terms of geographic areas of interest, uh, the government is focusing uh, certainly on North Africa, uh, owing to, to proximity, but also um, Italy has strong ties uh, with, with the countries in North Africa, but also um, there will be a focus on Sub-Saharan Africa in areas like the Horn, which have been traditionally important to Italian foreign policy, but also other parts of Sub-Saharan Africa where um, most likely where Italian companies are already present. Uh, Madalena, obviously, uh, one of the biggest uh, issues facing Meloni and her administration has been in recent times uh, immigration and a large part of that uh, from sub-Saharan Africa through Libya and into Italy. Uh, what kind of message do you think she will uh, sh uh, basically be delivering to African leaders, uh, possibly of assurances? So migration is clearly like part and parcel of this new strategy, and it's probably the main one of the main objectives of the strategy. Um, but I, I want to say that it's not the the, the strategy. The, the government is not only looking at that, and that's an important message that needs to come through, because the the Matei plan, which is what the the new Italy Africa strategy is going to be. Uh, called is much more than a migration issue. It's about industrialization and development, both in Italy and, and in Africa. And the aim is really to interact with African countries. So the point of migration will be uh, directly linked to an idea of contributing to industrialize together. And of course, it's a narrative at the moment, but we see movements and, and, uh, and laying the foundations for this to actually be properly implemented through tools, financial tools and other policy tools. Madalena, thank you so much uh, for that uh, brief uh, introduction into what is happening in Rome this weekend. Uh, of course, Giorgio Meloni hosting those uh, African leaders. Uh, Madalena, a senior fellow of the Africa program at the European Council on African Relations. And that's all for us uh, for this edition of France 24. We'll see you in just a few.